Thank you for tuning in to the best parenting show on the internet. Post Daily Dose. Hey, good afternoon, Facebook family. Welcome to another episode of Post Daily Dose with me, parenting advisor, faithful guide, and servant on the healing journey, Papa Brian Post. Hope everyone is having a fantastic Tuesday. I'm just back here in Crescent City. Another, another beautiful. Good Lord, it's amazing. 67 degrees can you believe it it's fantastic anyway i've been driving all day actually six hours eat good road warriors ages 16 13 and 9 and we just conquered that mountain let me tell you i think i freaked him out just a little bit because big papa has a heavy foot so those curves speed racer we made just a little bit tired this evening, but I had told Christy I was going to do the dose today, even though I was going to be a little bit late. So I'm popping on here to chop it up with you guys. Hello there, Mimi, and hello there, Ashley Day Laporte. So it's interesting traveling with these three kiddos because, like I said, their ages are 16, 13, and each one of them, you know, they each one of them has their special gifts and special talents and, and special challenges. Interesting is that probably each of the different families that they came from would not be able to really deal with the other children. Like if you were to change them up, it's like sometimes you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. You don't know how bad it could be where... It's like completely different. Who, you know, their children struggle, but in my mind, comparatively to struggle, it's like not that serious. But for them, it's super serious. And so, I think actually, you know, traveling around with these three today, I think in the context of, you know, we all have our own unique experience. And. The more I do this work, whether it's working with families who have a three-year-old that's stressed out and they're being stressed out, it is the vibration that gets exchanged between the two. Because, you know, why can I hang out with, you know, kids as many years as I've hung out with them? And, you know, we can have our little challenges, but by and large, not really have any challenges, nothing really serious. And it's because my 20 plus years of working with these children has been more about 20 plus years of learning about myself, 20 plus years of learning my own triggers and learning, you know, deep, having a deeper understanding of my own history, my own blueprints, my own window of tolerance, my own vibrations, my own deep vibrations. And so I think to families and I know by and large that when you are really struggling with your child because I believe this 100% actually I heard it from Eckhart Tolle probably 15 years ago he said that all emotional reactivity stems from unfinished business all emotional reactivity stems from un unfinished business and he actually said it somewhat different than that and I think that was like a big pop of spin 15 years ago but anytime you find yourself being reactive to someone or something it has far less to do with that person in that situation and and far more to do with you and so you find yourself struggling look at those beautiful hay bales can you guys see those these amazing hay bales out here it's just great I mean this was just a couple weeks ago, this field was completely grown up. This is just a little piece of heaven. I've actually got some really exciting news to share with you guys. I'll share it with you probably in another week or so. I don't like to, I don't like to, even though I like to speak things into existence and I like to, you know, attract things and have goals and, and I'm super serious about all that stuff, you know, I don't like to, to talk too much about it until it's done. And I got something big coming that I shared with you guys not too long ago, but um, that's coming soon. I don't know. I was just thinking about this. 
I'm just feeling so good to be in this weather. <laughs> that Chico weather was kicking my butt. 105 degrees, my goodness. I'm just glad to enjoy some 60, some 60 degree temperatures. But um, when you find yourself being reactive, you have to stop and ask yourself. And the hardest thing is when you got when you have a child who's always stressed, right? Because your child's always stressed, therefore your child's always stressing you. And you're gonna you're gonna get reactive because that's what that vibration does. Their vibration is looking for a a stronger, a matching vibration. So when your child gets stressed out, that vibration that's coming from their brainstem goes out into the world and is looking for a, a matching vibration. And that's that's where we get locked in with our kids in the struggle. We get locked in when they find a matching vibration in our brainstem. So we have some equivalent experience in our life. And it's so, so interesting how intense it gets, especially with families where where the the children, the adopted children are family of origin in some way, biological family maybe of a sister or a or a brother or an aunt or an uncle or something. And then how much how much of that that deep triggering gets stirred up and those deep connections look so much the same. And so what's hard for us to do is to own our part of it. That's the hardest part. We so much want to focus on our child's behavior and it's fine you got you have to consider your child's behavior you got to think about it because ultimately your responsibility is to teach them and to grow them up and to train them I'll see you guys later oh, okay is to teach them and grow them up and train them but the only way you're really gonna get be really effective with them is if you learn to own your own stuff when you learn to own your own stuff it's like you're you're wiping the slate clean. And when you wipe the slate clean, you can allow your child to be in the space that they need to be in in order to have a new experience. Give you a great example. Just a minute ago, you know, we just got in for a long trip. My 16-year-old, she's been agitated all day. And uh, Seth, one of our coaches, he says, hey, how you doing? How was your trip, man? She immediately, you know, just shot him down. I didn't want to talk to him. And then he said something a little while later. And she's like, she looks at me and she's like, why does he keep talking to me? I, I don't want to talk to him. And he said, and so he was standing, he was standing over three, four feet. And he's like, oh, okay, cool, cool. I get it. No problem. And um, I just reached my hand over and I rubbed her back and I said, oh, my sweet child. And that was it. That was it. I didn't get mad because she was being disrespectful. I didn't get mad because I was embarrassed because she was being rude. I just held a space. I just held a space. And here's what, and then Seth held a space too. He's like, cool. And he just moved on. Here's what happens when you hold the space. The child gets to sit with the experience that they just had internally. See, in that internal experience, so now she thinks, she'll be thinking probably the rest of the evening about that little exchange. She'll never show it, she'll never tell anyone, but she'll think about that little exchange. And I guarantee you, before the week is over, she's going to be engaging him and she's going to be trying to connect. But see, we got to create a slate for that experience to happen. If we get overwhelmed by our own challenges, then we shut down the learning experience for our children. So it's such a tricky, tricky dynamic. And hey there, Cooper. It's such a tricky dynamic. And I know it can be exhausting and so stressful sometimes. But there's one thing you got to keep doing. You got to keep breathing. You got to keep breathing. That is so important. I can't tell you how important that is, how critical it is. Your ability to slow down and breathe keeps you from being overwhelmed. When you keep yourself from being overwhelmed, your short-term memory stays on track. Your thinking stays clear and available. It is, it is so important. So important. It's like the foundation of every healthy relationship is our ability to breathe. Hey, check out these.
just amazing. Just amazing. Isn't God good? So that's it, guys. Remember, in any given situation, we always have two choices. We can continue to react from the same blueprints of stress, fear, and overwhelm, or we can stop, slow down, take three to ten deep breaths, and choose love. And I hope you guys will choose love anytime you can, as often as possible. Repetition, repetition, repetition. That's how the brain changes. God bless you. Big Papa loves you. We'll see you tomorrow.